Hello, Gemini. How are you doing? This is a reading for the sign of Gemini, if you haven't noticed, and we're going to start with your oracle. Then we go into the tarot. What is a message of importance, please? Where could Gemini use some insight? Gemini, I feel an energy of someone feeling as though they've been mistreated. Or something is just not fair. Imbalance, an imbalance. Wanting more connection, but it's bringing in some drama here. Oh yeah. Transgression, flaws, contradiction, mistake. Someone here is wanting to admit their wrongs or something that's been done wrong. Wanting to. One more card, please. Ooh, it could be a family situation or like a group of friends. What is this with the group thing lately? Bottom of the deck, we have witness, to know, personal evidence, and to speak out, you see? There's some sort of admission about the truth and some forgiveness needed or like changes have to take place in order to make somebody feel like things are better. What is this coming up here for Gemini? We have the transgression card. Yep, mistake. 41 becomes a five. So we have four, five, six. This is definitely someone trying to assert themselves or just be truthful and honest about how they're feeling and how to fix it. Natural, authentic, real, and organic. You see, this is where the truth comes in. We're getting real about the situation. So could involve some revelations understanding feels like someone wants a mutual understanding i don't know how easy that is because it feels like some sort of drama is taking place here we have immortal the consuming family and pressure of peers okay Yep, see, there's some sort of regret that someone wants to express with the Five of Cups here. Let's pull for Gemini. Let's do this. For Gemini, please. Show me Gemini. Show me Gemini's energy. What's Gemini looking like in this story here? Hope it resonates, guys. If not, check back next time or the one prior. Also, give it a couple weeks. Sometimes that happens. Here you go, Gemini. You're actually coming out with your energy. This is the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Are you guys changing how you're behaving? Because it feels like whatever you've been doing here, like you've done it over and over again, and it hasn't pulled through for you. It could have to do with work. Yes, but this is also just kind of like routines and stuff, like things that you deal with on a daily basis. And now we're needing to make major changes here. Well, it doesn't have to be major, just a different direction than you're used to. So I guess that could feel a lot different. Let's see. So you could also be changing the way that you relate to somebody here. Show me Gemini, please. Show me Gem Nine of Cups. Well, that's a good card. And the High Priestess. So you're wanting expressions or confessions here or that someone does, okay? It could be a Pisces. You know what I'm getting, Gemini, though? It feels like whatever you were doing prior to this, you kept doing it and it wasn't working. So now you're kind of sitting back here and that's kind of where you want to be. You just want to kind of relax, take a break and see what's going to come of it without like having to put work into it. So it feels like you're waiting for it to take care of itself or you're waiting for it to change on its own. And this could be the other person that you're waiting on or not waiting. It's like you're more passive than usual. Show me Gemini. 
strength. Yeah, you're reserved. You're sitting in your throne of power. First of all, we have emperor and strength here. You're, this is how you're influencing this situation is what it is. And is, this is making you more confident though. And this could be guidance for you if you're not doing this already, is to kind of retreat a little bit, withdraw within the self and take care of your needs and your desires here and handle whatever kind of situations come up around you as opposed to if you were kind of going after somebody or they were going after you, this is you kind of changing that to kind of, yeah, just sit back and to see what happens. It feels like you have influence over this or another person. It could be a Leo or an Aries. It doesn't have to. It could be a parent even, a parent or a boss. Show me partner B. Partner B here can be a friend, family member, or a neighbor. I will call it love. Who's partner B? How are they relating to this? The five of swords. Hmm. And the two of swords. So this is someone who doesn't know what to do here. Five of swords. It's not the best card to be coming out. You guys have some sort of manipulation going on here. And it could have to do with some sort of ego. Some egoistic traits. Tit for tat. Kind of wanting to be on top of the other and not letting people have control over you or you, they. Let's see what they say though. Partner B, please, because. Partner B and the sun. It feels like you guys are both waiting for the other one to do something or that, you know, you guys are just kind of reserved at this point. You guys are both, your energies are separate. And it feels because there's been some manipulation going on here. And I don't think you guys are very happy about that. And now we have someone on partner B side who could be plotting how to get their control back here because they're wait, they're wanting to be kind of on top or... They're really defensive or they're looking for a way to actually defend their positions here when they feel like it's been taken away from them in a sense. What is going on here, Gemini? This is a very strange reading. Show me partner B, please. Show me partner B. Definitely different. It's definitely different. In the world. Oh, so partner B does want to defend their position, but they're also trying to heal here. That means that they're retreating. You guys had some ugly stuff happening here. Whenever partner B is trying to talk to you, you've had them blocked or vice versa. But they're saying that they're not getting through to you. And they're trying to heal the situation for the past negativity. Let's just say that, okay? But you're okay over here, Gemini. I feel like you're in control of this right now. And you don't necessarily want anything to do with this. Whatever this is, it's turned you off completely. You found that you're happier kind of in your own corner here. What is going on? Um, by the way, we have all the fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. Could be. Let's see Gemini. How does this evolve for Gemini? Tell us about Gemini's Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups, please. The King of Cups is my Scorpio card. And the Leo card. Huh. Two fixed signs. So you're wanting to be more reserved. You're happier there. And it feels like to me in this card, you're kind of waiting to see what comes next. It's like, what is partner B going to do next? But I feel like you don't think it's going to be good. It's like you're expecting them to do something wrong or do something you don't like. But you also are very reserved when it comes to them. 
yet you still have an interest to see how this is going to unfold. Tell me about this Nine of Cups and this Strength card for Gemini. The High Priestess, passive, patient, definitely we're saying reserved again. Someone is trying to talk to you and you're not talking back, Gemini. Or you're not responding is what I mean, <laughs> not talking back. Tell me about the High Priestess, the King of Cups. You want some sort of distance. Queen of Pentacles. Now we have Capricorn. And you, Gemini, with the lovers. Wow. Yeah, you're definitely happy where you are. You're taking care of your own needs. And I feel like you're taking care of your emotional state, your, your stability as well. And you have all the information you need, it seems. So if you're wanting to make a decision, you need to trust your intuition here and listen to yourself. And I feel like you've already been doing that. But if you needed to hear that, that's what's going on here. Because... It's as though this is where you need to be, what you're doing. Because whatever you had tried prior did not work out. It feels like you're firmly rooted where you are and you kind of just want to see how things unfold for some reason. Now, Partner B has a lot going on over here. Let's see what's going on. Tell me about this. And yeah, there are multiple energies here. This could involve multiple people. This card, remember, is pressure of peers or like a family. So it very well could involve a group of people that you're having this commotion with and you kind of retreat. Whoever this is, though, is someone specific, okay? Wounded. They want to lick their wounds. Tell me about this Five of Swords and this Four of Swords, please. Hangman. Oh, see? Wounded Warrior. Nine of Wands. I heard wounded, so that's why I said that. But this is also someone waiting to see what your move is, Gemini, but you're tapped out. And you're happy that way. Partner B wants more interaction with you. I feel like they want you to respond or something to give them some sign, of, some sign, some kind of smoke signal of what's coming next. Or it's like they're on guard and they're very apprehensive because, you know, I really do feel like there's been a major mistake here being made or some sort of manipulation that really set this off in the first place. Tell me about this Four of Swords, Six of Swords, the Seven of Wands, Partner B. They are guarded, but they're not done, too. Justice, see? They want to be able... To, yeah, they're looking for a way to fix this, to make this right, to have balance. Remember in the beginning, there was that energy we were talking about in the very beginning. I said someone feels like this is not fair and that something has been done and someone wants to express their concerns or some sort of apology and talk about how they really feel and kind of turn a fresh new leaf. Because someone knows whatever was said or even done, maybe there's slander involved, like someone was saying bad things about you behind your back or vice versa, right? And defamation kind of thing that's probably not everybody but i heard defamation as well but this feels like partner b is looking for a way to try and make this right though so they really are wanting to express apologies i'm not necessarily seeing how genuine this is to tell you the truth i mean it could be either way i mean whatever happened prior definitely disingenuous but this is someone who's realizing that they want to speak the truth. They're looking for the truth or they want to speak the truth. And this is something that they realize. They, they're realizing a different perspective here. So, okay, okay, okay. 
maybe they do realize this is wrong. This is someone who is realizing from a different perspective that some bad stuff has been done and said, even though they were defensive prior, now they're looking for a way to make it right. Okay. We have Virgo, Libra coming out here now. The other signs I've mentioned. Show me the hangman and the justice. Partner B. Now, I also heard mediator. You guys may have a go-between, like, I mean, a person in between you guys that knows each other and wants to kind of, like, you guys are passing messages or partner B is passing messages toward you to let you know that they want to kind of shed light on their position right now. It feels like they want you to understand them, okay? Gemini, I am not sure why this energy is coming up in this reading, but... It's a very um, interesting reading that we're picking up on, is what I'm saying, okay? So, we have here the Sun energy as well as the Ten of Swords. What was that Sun card coming out with earlier? We saw the Sun... Was it this? Yeah. Okay. So this is someone who does, like we said, I mean, this is a little bit of a repeat, but there's been a mistake betrayal, an ending, pain involved, hurts, okay, discomfort, and now we need expression and clarity. Partner B says, I see what's happened here. I see what's done wrong. I want to make this right. I want to alleviate things. I want to clear the air, right? And kind of break free from this kind of backstabbing type of energy, which we do have here. I'm just saying there's been some sort of backstabbing here, guys, and some screwery going on, okay? Pre previous, so prior to this. Could be happening right now as you're seeing this or it's coming up for you if this is your reading. But yeah, this is someone who definitely wants to make things more fair because they feel like something was not. Definitely with the Five of Swords, this is a lose-lose situation. It's never that someone actually wins. It's the person who feels like they're on top. There's an arrogance about it. So we have to make this right as Partner B's position, Okay. Very interesting to me, this reading. Gemini. Let's do a possible outcome and then we'll go to the what you can expect here. Possible outcome, please, between partner A and partner B. Partner A and partner B. Yeah, there's a major change coming in. We have death card energy, possibly a Scorpio or a an Aquarius. Partner A and partner B, po possible outcome. Okay, there goes that five of wands again. Did we see a five of wands? No, I think. All right, it could be a parent, like I said earlier as well. This is someone who is looking forward to changing things in the future. Mm, some of you, it's actually travel here, but this is talking about you, so you're kind of wanting to move past this drama, this whatever is going on here, okay? And that's where you're going to be channeling your efforts. We talked about that. The possible outcome is, yes, we have some sort of ending, some sort of change and transformation here that will bring about a certain amount of expression, or at least there's a desire for that clarity and expression here to talk about things. I do feel like this is kind of clearing things up or wanting that. I don't know how open you are to this, Gemini. Um, it appears to me that maybe you take a little bit of time, but that you may end up somehow closing this out. Okay. feels like you're waiting to see what happens and this could involve you wanting to see that someone's actually putting efforts in and changing and whether or not they have will make a big difference here but it also could involve have you done your part have you done your healing because you may not want to be involved with some sort of drama or toxicity or whatever this is to you here Let's see here. Let's go to the what you can expect for Gemini, please. Okay. 
Interesting reading. I don't know if that's your love reading or not, to be honest. But, but let's see. Advice, guidance for Gemini. What can we expect? How to best move forward. Abundance. Whoop. Advice, guidance for Gemini. You did end up on the Queen of Pentacles. Advice, guidance for Gemini. What can we expect? Okay, yeah, you guys really could have some sort of advisor or someone who's going between you guys, okay? Now, some of you, there will be someone here asking for help with the situation, or you will be. So it appears to me that this is very important to partner B or you, vice versa, right? And within the next few months, there's going to be a lot of efforts being made or a chance to, let's see, remain positive, see? So remain positive because within the next few months there's abundance here. If this is your financial, then that's a really good sign, but keep with it because it's gonna take um, a few months, it says, but to remain positive if you're feeling like a little down or whatever, and ask for help from others if you need it, because they could help you, and you may be surprised. Tell me about this abundance for Gemini, please. What is this? Abundance for Gemini. Make the effort. Wow, someone really does want to make this effort. And it has to do with revealing your innermost self. So yeah, the revelation, the talking about the truth, the authenticity involved and what they know and what they want you to know and the perspectives, okay? Tell me about within the next few months here for Gemini, please. Ooh, new love. Let your friends help you. There's somehow, some way, this is tying into a group of people. Okay, Gemini? Now, remember we said like twice, Friends or family, whoever. But it says to let your friends help you in both of these cards. So ask for and accept help or support from others. Tell us about ask for help from others. Because it says within the next few months, you're going to have a new beginning. And it's it has a chance of being abundant for you. Like, like everything that you've been searching for at this time. A great offer, basically. All right, so it says, ask for help from others with the forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Most definitely, you guys have some sort of forgiving and learning to do with whoever that is. And we know that. That's very clear from this reading. You may decide to have some sort of break here so that you can maintain your positive outlook or that it's guidance to, because it says to disconnect for a while. And then ask for help from others with this forgiving and learning. Maybe there's a different perspective that you could see things from as well. Just saying. Whoever you are watching this. Okay. But it says, um, with the new love card, it's definitely a new beginning. It's like an ace of cups. So that's also healing and connection and empathy. Being able to be um, compassionate and empathetic, right? But definitely a new beginning here. But it requires effort, guys. Advice, guidance, please. But yeah, definitely this, the theme of this reading is someone wanting to tell you that things were not fair. Advice, guidance, please, for Gemini. Advice, guidance for Gemini. Hello, cards, are you there? Ooh, that's a lot. We have, don't let your past hold you back. Your commitment is being tested. The end of a tough cycle approaches and your dreams need a practical plan because nothing is set in stone. What I saw on the bottom. Advice, guidance. Okay, we have surrender to the divine and the energy is gaining momentum. So surrender. We did kind of see you, you know, being reserved and that could be a form of surrender. But I feel like this is kind of saying to not be too harsh or to be more easygoing. And I feel like you're that way anyway. So this could be advice um, for you and this person specifically or them toward you, okay? But to surrender because this is in the hands of the divine. The new love here, oh yeah. 
because divine has something happening for you in the next few months is what that is and it could be something you've been praying for or hoping for with the abundance but it's going to take your effort vice guidance for gemini Yep, your hard work is paying off. Well, whoop to do, Gemini. Good for you. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. Maybe something happened during Cancer season for you. Um, although, this is the moon, so I'm not sure when the next new moon in Cancer is. But your hard work is paying off here. And to surrender. So don't worry too much about that. Remain positive. Um... It says retreat and you and your loved ones are safe. That has a lot to do with home and hearth energy. Yeah, you are where you need to be. Whatever your energy was showing was kind of you being like self-preservation. And that's kind of where you need to be. Like worried about you and yours and, you know, your home life, your situation. But that expect that this is going to change definitely within the next few months, okay? Hard work is paying off. So if you do make the efforts then you're going to see the results and an abundance of results. And that's good. So surrender, guys. All right. I love this so very much. It's Scorpio Spy. Remember to hit the like. You know why? Because it helps. And I appreciate when you do that. Thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you next time. You know, other placements, sometimes they work too. Check those if you want. Use your intuition. Kisses. Thank you. Bye.